Okay, let's see if you grasp uh, the full ramifications of what Mill is talking about. So let's ask, what relevance is one's own interest in moral decisions? Okay. What role do your own interest, your own happiness, your own pleasure, what role does that play in making a decision? Okay. Because you're supposed to maximize the greatest overall happiness. But there's a lot of people out there. There's a lot of different decisions, a lot of different actions, a lot of different ways that people live their lives. There's a lot of different things to consider. What role does your, do your interest play in this? Do you get to consider your interest above everybody else? Do you get to uh, perform those actions that increase your own happiness? Or, you know, are you more important than everyone else around you? Well, Mill's pretty emphatic. No, you are not more important than anybody else around you. You are one more person in the crowd. So here's a question, all right? Suppose we have three possible decisions. Action one, action two, or action three. And for action one, uh, it produces, I suppose we can you know, quantify happiness in this way. Uh, for person A, I'm represented here, I think that's blue. I'm a little colorblind, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's blue. It produces five units of happiness. With person A, five units of happiness with person B, which is, is that red? And then five units of happiness with person C. Okay, that's one decision. Everybody gets the same amount of happiness. Okay. Well, suppose we, suppose we consider action two. Action two, person A gets seven units of happiness as well as person B. But then person three, a uh, person uh, three, uh, C, excuse me, person C only gets three units of happiness. And then let's look at action three. Action three, person A gets 15 units of happiness. Person B and person C only get two. So here's the question. According to Mill, which action should you take? 